This episode is brought to you by theskillmodeler.com. Hey guys, back again with another video. This time it's going to be a one video quick build video type of video, if you know what I'm saying. Um, it's just a quick, fun uh, weekend project. I have been getting tips at my work for a couple of years now and I've had a lot of different piggy banks and uh, pots to put some money in and I discovered these uh, Italiri containers and I thought this would be perfect to be turned into a piggy bank. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. I sped up the preparation of the parts quite a bit because it's just not interesting at all and uh, later on I will continue with painting. Now that the basic structure has all been glued together, I took the top back off and I'm going to mark the center and from out of the center I'm going to mark the hole for the money to fit through. Now that I know the location I want the hole to be, I put some masking tape around it and I'm going to mark the edges with a knife so that the saw blades have a sort of line to follow and make it easier to make straight cuts. The hole has now been cut out, I'm just going to clean it up a bit and it's ready for its first coat of primer. I'm going to do this one with some Tamiya spray cans just because it would 
take about three hours to paint a container this size with my airbrush and the finish wasn't really that important and was going to be flat anyway so I figured this was a fun little way to use these spray cans again and I'm quite enjoying these so I might be using these uh, more often in the future. primer and color that is coming after this. I let it dry for about 20 minutes in between. For color I chose TS4 from Tamiya. This is probably also known as German Grey or uh, Gunship Grey or it's, yeah, it's a sort of army type color and it's dark grey and I thought it was very suitable for a container as I was not following the instructions and giving it a bit of a custom touch that you will see in the end of the video. Now after applying that last coat of color I let the container dry for about 2-3 days and then I started to apply the final stickers I had made a couple of months ago when I was stickering my car for my web shop and I decided that this was a good one to put on because it gave it a bit of a custom touch and it was unique to me. And I also decided to do some of the Chinese or Japanese lettering that came uh, on the decal sheet just to give it that authentic uh, container look. The container is now finished and I am absolutely happy with the end result. It came out exactly how I wanted it to and maybe I'll do a new project next year but then as a complete scratch build vault or something like that just to, to turn it around a bit. Check us out on Facebook, questions or suggestions, shoot us an email and as always thanks for watching, hope to see you guys next time.